Yeah, we ain't exactly found a home yet. Let me more deplations here. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to go ahead and get service started. I want to welcome everyone out to the house of the Lord. I want you to get in and do what you feel tonight. In your spirit, the Lord would have you to do. <clears throat> and even though you're first time visitors here, you're not visitors because we know you from other places. Amen. So get in and feel like you've not visited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, might not have a full house, but the Bible says where two or three are gathered in His name, He'll be there in the midst. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. <laughs> and uh, if you have a need, God is able and ready to put, supply that need for you tonight. He's just sometimes waiting on us to make the first move, yeah. waiting on us to give Him a little bit of praise in faith that He's going to move. Amen? Yeah. Do we have any prayer requests tonight? Yeah, remember my daddy, he's not doing too well. That cancer is really getting to him and it's making him wake and wake with that chemo and stuff. Dude. So remember him when you all pray. We need a lot of prayer. Remember yeah. that. Remember me tonight when you pray. I'm trying my best to keep my temper under control. Pray that the Lord put a big bright over my tongue. Amen. Remember that. Anyone else? Let's remember the Ruth family from up in Henry County where we moved down here from. Uh, Cody Ruth lost his dad. and They buried him today. And he lost his mother. I think it's only been like a year, a year and a half ago. And then he lost his grandmother. So just pray, pray for him. Let's remember that. They were church members of ours up north when we lived up that way. Anyone else? I like to remember my favorite brother, you. I like to remember the laws, the church, the body of Christ. I also remember the leaders of our nation. You know, they gave them to a great deal of battling back and forth. You know, just let God take hold of the White House and, and lead them and all that. Uh, uh, something else, too, is uh, put a death in the family. Uh, long distance family, but still get family. And just remember them if they go through that. And, uh, and just remember. Church, Amen. Sister Joyce said, remember her tonight, and it should be about this time on the way back home from Nicholsville to see her uh, granddaughter baptized. Yes, let's remember that. Just remember the doll family. They lost their daddy. Anyone else? Let's remember men and women in the armed forces. Man. Remember me and my family. Remember that one. Could it be another? Um, also, uh, uh, Jerry Gray messaged me on Facebook and uh, said that he said that he was a young boy and he knows I was on this accident if it's intended for, but, but he shot himself and uh, and he asked for a prayer line. Everybody came into that. Yes, let's remember that. Any other prayer requests? I still remember Sister Renate that she had that surgery in her head. And it was about our Sunday after church and she's having a lot of weary in her eyes and she don't know if that's normal or not. Just pray the Lord to take that away. Amen. Anyone else? This member Sister Sherry, one of her friends. Died last night. Yeah, let's remember that boy's family that they found down there in Laurel River yesterday. Yeah. Damn. A lot of death going on. Yeah, they are. There'll be another request. That's my teacher, Shani. Any unspoken requests for lifting the hands? Now we we'll take us to Lord and pray. Father, we thank you for all the We thank you for all the care about every situation. We thank you for the great love of God. We ask God to touch those who are sick, those who are lost, those who are in the nursing home, the hospital, those in the jails and the prisons. 
rest of that.
got one more that's not in the book, and then we'll let Brother Rusty sing us one. This is called The Meeting in the Air. Are you waiting for that meeting in the air? You have heard of this. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you see a man in sandals, please send him down my way. Or he might be my master, he's coming back someday. Amen. If you see a man in white, like you've never seen before, just send him on to me, for that's the man I'm looking for. And if you can remember, ask him what his name. And if he tells you Jesus, say we're so glad you came. Tell him you know someone who still calls him Lord. And send him on to me, for it's the man I'm looking for. Yes. If you see a man that shines with that love look on his face, send him down my street so he can find my place. And if his hands are nail scarred, please don't shut your door. Just send him on to me, for that's the man I'm looking for. And if you can remember, ask him what's his name. And if he tells you Jesus, say we're so glad you came. Tell him you know someone who still calls him Lord. And send him on to me, for that's the man I'm looking for. He's coming back one day, isn't he? Yes, yes he is. Yes, he is. Yep. We better be a looking for it. Yes. And we better stay prayed up. Amen. I hope and pray that that fellow we <coughs> found out at Laurel Lake the other day was prayed up. I hope he's going in the right direction. Amen. Yep. So, let's all pray for him.
Amen. You know how I felt that? It's not what I do, but it's what Jesus does. Amen. I can't do nothing without the Lord. Because I'm nothing, brother. I thought that. I'm nothing without Him. I'm, I thought that, you know, I don't want to be no stumbling block. But I want to be what Jesus wants me to be, you know. Amen. Not what man wants me to be, but what Jesus wants me to be. Amen. Amen. I just thank God for that.
something to point out to me. It says, In the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, 
Yeah. Let us yeah. pass over. Uh -huh. yeah. He didn't say to them, you get in the boat and you pass over. Yeah. He said, let's get in the boat and let us yeah. pass over. Well, what are you passing over there? In the physical here, there was passing over a sea to get to the other side. But sometimes since we go through a storm that we need to pass over or be able to pass through and to have the strength and Jesus is laying there dormant in our lives, but yet we don't have the, 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 uh, the audacity and the strength and the knowledge to awaken the master that is just in the eye of us and is ready and more than able to pull you through. Come on, glory to God. What kind of storms? Some of us may be in financial storms. Yeah. Well, brother, I don't think financial situations are storms, but I beg to differ. Uh, brothers and sisters, when you're looking at the bills and you're looking at the money and it doesn't add up, yeah. Lord to God, you begin to get stressed out. You begin to get worried. You may think where your next meal is coming from. How my payment on this is going to be paid. Lord to God. Come on. Somebody needs to hear me tonight. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's a storm. Come on. Come on. The storm is anything that troubles the soul. Amen. And just because we're a child of God don't mean you're not going to have a storm. Right. Amen. Amen. Because you may be lost don't mean you're not going to have storms. Amen. Just because you come to God don't mean that the storm chaser that I call him, Lord of God, is going to allow you to never have to go through storms. Man. We'll have storms as long as we're in this boat of life. Whether we have Jesus or we don't. The only thing different is if we have Jesus, then we have peace of mind. If we activate the power of Christ Jesus and that Holy Ghost in fire that God told us last Tuesday that He would baptize us in, glory to God. Yeah. Ah, my. Last week, last week we spoke about John the Baptist uh, and how he told them, "I need baptizing with water unto repentance." But there's one who cometh after I, who have, I'm not, who I am unworthy to unbuckle his shoe. But when he comes, he will baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire versus the water that I baptize you in. Come on, man. Jesus. Somebody, other, whether under the sound of my voice in this house tonight or by uh, YouTube and Facebook later, you're in a storm and you don't know which way to turn. You don't know what to do. Amen. But as that last song said, if you're saved, hold on to Jesus. Come on, Get right out of the storm. Come on, son. Amen. My, my, my. Another storm that we sometimes face. I'm facing some right now myself. And God knows all about it. Lord of God is a storm of health, sis. Health storms, health issues. Whether it be our own personal self or a loved one that we got to take care of, Brother Daniel, is what the Lord spoke to me today. And whether it be hell for ourselves or whether it be hell for a loved one that is causing us to step up and do the more for someone that we love. Amen. Then all of a sudden, before you know it, the healthy person that's taking care of the sick begins to get sick themselves and maybe even die before the sick person died that they take care of. Why? Because they let their own health go. Amen. Come on. Help him go. Amen. Help your wife. Amen. Help your wife. 
Not that it's a bad thing to help take care of a loved one that's sick. Because that's what the Bible teaches us to do. But sometimes we put our own self in that storm of have a health storm by not watching and being cautious of our own uh, bodies and signs. And I know what I'm talking about there because I, I'm a procrastinator when it, when it comes to going to a doctor. If I don't think I'm dying, I ain't going. Sometimes that's bad, sometimes it's good. Thank you, Jesus. The third thing I want to talk about is a spiritual storm. This is the most important and can become the most dangerous of all storms. Right. Brother Jonathan, if we ain't watching. Amen. We may have done all that we know to do, brother. Yeah. To do things right and to live for the Lord. Yeah. You may have read, your, read the Word of God day in and day out. I'm going to slow down for this one because I want to make sure I get everything in that come to mind. Glory to God. You've done all that you know to do. You've been reading your reading God's Word. You've been spending time in your prayer closet. But the devil has come, has been on his game. See, the Bible says that he comes to kill, to steal, destroy. And he comes seeking whom he may devour. Right. If you've got God on your side, then you've got the devil on your back. Yeah. Yeah. He's always there at every turn. Yeah. He's always there at every door that opens and closes yeah. to, to see what kind of thing he can put here that once he gets here can, can get here and cause you to shut out Amen. what God is doing in your life. Amen. My, my, my. I don't know if anybody else feels this, but can you feel the shift of the anointing in the atmosphere? Amen. It shifted from something spir spiraling upward to something that's still. Yeah. The Bible, I recall that the Bible talks about the voice of God. And when it speaks, it speaks to us in a still, small voice. Amen. It doesn't speak to us through something loud. Right. Not all the time. My, my, my. What a shift. I don't know about anybody else, but there's, there's such a peace that I feel come over me, Brother Jonathan. The devil will, even though you've been reading your word, even though you've been spending time in your prayer closet, he coasts up out of my heart. Even though you're doing everything that you know to do, the devil will come to you playing his mind games. And he will say, well, you're not worthy. You remember just the other day you slipped up? You're unclean. You're unfit. You might as well give up. You might as well throw in the towel. Amen. You might as well turn around and go the other way. Yeah. But if you got God in your ship, yeah. if you got Jesus in your ship, yeah. all you got to do is activate Jesus. He goes Sunday to me on top. And when you activate Jesus, Brother Jonathan, He will come out of the hinder parts of the oh. ship and He will step out on the bow and He will speak peace be oh. still unto the storm oh. that is in your life. Amen. Amen. My, my, my. Amen. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. I'm here to tell you today that if you have Jesus in your ship, and if Jesus, with Him being on your ship, 
It doesn't matter how hard that wind blows. It won't matter, Brother Jonathan, how bright or strong and forceful the lightning strikes. My, my, my. Somebody get this. Amen. It doesn't matter. It won't matter how loud and long the thunder roars and rolls across the skies yeah. of the storm of your life. Because if Jesus is on the ship, He said He is an ever-present help in time of need or trouble. Yeah. Glory to God. In the midst of your storm, I'm here to tell you tonight, in the midst of your storm, take time to stand still and listen Amen. and let Him speak. Amen. 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 My, my, my. God, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hey. Glory to God in the most high. I don't know who may be going in a, in a storm here tonight or later, but I want you to listen to me. Maybe you haven't felt him move in a while. Let's shift this the other direction for a little bit. I believe we fed the, the, the Christians that got Jesus in the ship. Now let's feed those that don't. Amen. Maybe at one time you had him like, like Jeremiah spoke about. Fire shut up in your bone. Yeah. My, my, my. And maybe it's been so long that you don't even remember how it felt. Glory to God. Brother Jonathan, when the Holy Ghost touched you, when God's power swept by, when you're stuck in a rock in a hard place, and He moved all doubt and all fear and all confusion. Yeah. Amen. And He did like He did for Job. Yeah. Set His feet planted on a solid rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a song I'm reminded of just now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It said, God moves in a windstorm. God moves in a windstorm. Maybe you have let the power of the Holy Ghost just lay dormant in your life for so long now that you have to make reasons and excuses to even come to the house of God. Used to you was like David and said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. But now you won't go without having an excuse. It's Easter Sunday. I, I believe I ought to go. Yeah. And now you won't go unless a family member is getting baptized. Yeah. So I'm going to go. Yeah. You have to have a reason or excuse. Yeah. As far as I know, everybody in this building is saved. So this is going to whoever is watching this video. You have to make excuses and reasons why to go to the house of the Lord. When used to, you were like David. Who said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. My, my, my. Maybe you can't even remember what it felt like to have Jesus active in your life anymore. But you can call Him back. Listen to this. This is something that was spoke to my spirit. It says, but you can call Him back to a stage of activity in your life. How am I? Yeah. And all you've got to do is to call to call him back. Is first of all invite him back into your life. Amen. My, my. And if it seems that you can't find him, then sometimes we have to do like the prophets of old, brother Daniel. 
And we got to search and search and keep on searching until we find that King of Kings. Yeah. Amen. And I promise you this, when you search and search until you find him, you're going to find out he came looking for you the whole time to begin with. Amen. My, my, my. I'm trying to close this here and I want to read this passage of Scripture. <laughs> sometimes we got, I gotta go back to that. Sometimes we gotta search. There's a song that says searching. I searched until I found him. Yeah. I searched until I found the King of Kings. We may be saved. And Brother Jonathan, I still believe that there's times in our life that even as Christians. We must search Amen. until we find Him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, how can you preach that, preacher? For the simple fact is, He said, you have not because you ask not. That's right. yeah. He says, knock, yeah. and it shall be opened. He said, seek, and you shall find. What is knocking and seeking and asking? It's searching. Amen. It's searching. That's right. All boils down to the word searching. Yeah. The devil likes to come in though and make you feel like when you do something and you slip up. We've talked about this so much here lately. There is a difference between willful sin and a slip up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. A slip up is something that you did not mean to do. A willful thing is something you already premeditated to do. Amen. No matter what. When we slip up, he says we have an applicant with the Father. When we willfully do wrong, we don't have that applicant. Oh, that's harsh, preacher. It may be hard and it may be hard to swallow but it's truth. Why? Because a willful sin is something that's done repeatedly over and over and over and over and every time you run back to God and you, Jesus and you say forgive me Lord, forgive me Lord, forgive me Lord after a time and a season my Bible teaches me, Brother Jonathan, that he'll turn me over to a reprobate mind. Yeah. So if you don't know what a reprobate mind is, it is simply someone that he never hears again. He'll not listen when you pray. Man. His ear will not be attentive to you. Right. His ear will not be inclined to your cry. Right. Why? Because you straddled a fence too long. And instead of being hot or cold, you were lukewarm and he spewed you out of his mouth. Amen. Yes. To those of you that visited for the first time, don't, don't, don't run away and not come back because I preach a little hard. You all right? Come on, brother. Because the one thing about it, this is bread for your soul. Amen. This is meat for your bones. Yes. Uh, glory to God. And it's something that will help us, each individual, including myself, as a pastor here, grow in Jesus Christ. Amen. We've got to search. And I don't know who's going to listen to the video. And sometimes I, I think I feel I stand up here when I feel led by the Lord to do this and talk directly into a camera. I feel stupid sometimes. But then the Lord brings my mind back to Him using a donkey, which is one of the stupidest animals on the earth, to tell a man, Hey, you're going the wrong way. You got, God wants you to go this way. And if He can use an animal that's stupid as a donkey, then it don't matter how stupid it may look or sound, Brother John. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, 
and those that are watching especially, that you got to search until you find Him. Yeah. If you'll search, you'll knock, you'll ask, then He's going to answer. He's going to hear your cry. Amen. The only way that He won't is if He's done turned you over to a reprobate mind. Right. A lot of us, we get saved and we think that's as far as it goes. We think that our good deeds will get us where we need to be from there, Brother Jonathan. But there's a work to be done. That's right. The Bible speaks about in the end, in the back of the book, about the harvest being plentiful. The harvest, my my, the harvest being being ready and ripe. Come on. Uh, for the, the, the harvest time. Uh, but yet the laborers, which are you and I that say that we are children of God, are few. And that's why it's got to linger on and tarry like it has. Even though we look outside and we see this world a dying and a fading away to the devil's hell on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. Because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Yeah. What does that mean? It means the preachers are watering down God's words. Yeah. The, the preachers ain't even living up to what they're preaching. Yeah. The preachers are going out and they're doing all kinds of fornication and, and adultery wow. uh, and things like that and thinking that they can still stand behind a pulpit and preach an almighty oh. word of God. Oh. Well, if they're in all of that sin, uh, Brother Daniel, there's no way that they can stand under a tangible anointing of the Holy Ghost, Glory to God, and effectively preach and minister God's Word. Come on, sir. They have become what Jesus told the priests and the Sadducees. The Pharisee says they have made outside clean, but inside it is corrupt. Amen. It sounds like tinkling brass, I believe is the word he used. Is that right? And ravenous wolves. <laughs> Amen. No wonder we don't see the lost get a saint no more, Brother Jonathan. Right. No wonder we don't see the sick being healed in the, in the, in the church house no more. Yep. No wonder we don't see those that have went so far in uh, black magic and uh, witchcraft come into the church house and the Holy Ghost get a hold of someone to shout up to them and lay a Holy Ghost fire-filled hand upon them and that devil come out. Even the ones that Jesus told his disciples Glory to God. Psalms 121. This is what David said. Psalms 121. He said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Yeah. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Amen. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Amen. He shall preserve. Yeah. Amen. I look unto the hills, or lift my eyes up unto the hills 
from whence cometh my help. Because my help cometh from the Lord. Yeah. Goes back to when the death angel went through Egypt yeah. and destroyed and smote the firstborn of man and beast. Yeah. Jonathan, the Bible tells us that those children of Israel that obeyed the commandments that Moses gave them, which God gave Moses to uh, relay to them, that followed that commandment, took that sheep, kept it for four, or that uh, sheep or goat and kept it for 14 days, slaughtered it, and then put the blood across the doorpost and the lintel. <laughs> he said, when I see that blood applied, I will not suffer the destroyer to come in and to destroy you. It's the same here. What it's speaking about here, Brother Jonathan. My help cometh from the Lord, which hath made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. Amen. My keeper. Your keeper. Yes. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. He's my shade. He's your shade. Yes, He is. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Amen. The Lord shall preserve thee. Yes. Yeah. If you're out there tonight and you're lost and you're dying, you're in the middle of a storm and you don't know which way to turn, and you don't know for sure that you have Jesus in your hinder part of your ship, yeah. I'm here to tell you right now, all you got to do is call on His name. Amen. Amen. Yes. And He will hear you. Amen. And He will attend to your cry. Amen. He will come and He will save your life. But it doesn't end there. You must read. You must feed your spirit with the Word of God. Amen. You must get rid of all sinful things and people in your life and surround yourself with those that love the Lord. And that will help you uh, grow in the Lord. And that will pick you up when they see you stumble and fall. Amen. And help pack you along. That's right. yeah. Not those that will stomp you on down a little bit further. Amen. Thank you. Glory to God. Let us just stand all over the house tonight. I don't think we even need music for this. But as we stand, I want us to close our eyes. Like I said, I, as far as I know, everyone here is saved. But if you're not, the altar is open for you to get saved. And if you're saved, the altar is still open for you because the altar is more for the Christians. That's one reason why they've lost their power. Amen. But with our eyes closed, A lot of times the preacher will say, bow your head, but I don't want you to bow your head because when you bow your head, thank you, Holy Ghost, you're not looking at the heavens, you're looking at hell because it's below you. Close your eyes, lift your heads up towards heaven, and for a few moments, I want us to just praise the Lord in our own way. Don't worry about what your neighbor's doing and how your neighbor's praising. Don't worry about how quiet or how loud they may be. Worry about Jesus. Because if nothing else, that this message don't do nothing else, I hope that whoever hears it, every person that hears it, that through our prayers right now, through our praise and our worship right now to Jesus Christ, that it becomes so anointed that the Holy Ghost will usher in to wherever they are at in the entire world. 
and begin to put a spirit of conviction on those people that are lost and dying. My God, my God. Lord, we just thank you today. Don't be afraid if you're gonna don't, don't 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 let the devil tell you if I get a little bit loud or I get a little happy that I'm gonna scare somebody. The Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. Glory to God. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We just lift your name up today, Jesus. I know this is a little unorthodox from what we normally do, but I believe God deserves a little praise. See, we got into a routine. We come into the house. My, my, my. We take up prayer requests. We take pray over it. We take up offering. We pray over it. We sing a few songs. We get up. We preach. We do an altar call and we close and we go home. And sometimes I feel like we've left God out of the entire equation. My, my, my. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, have your way in this place tonight. My, my. Glory to God. As everyone is still praising and they're worshiping Jesus. See, he was sent by God to earth. Raised by the Virgin Mother Mary and Joseph. And in a twelve, he was found lost. They lost him for three whole days. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't be saved and lose the Lord. Don't tell me you can't be saved and leave him behind. His own parents are supposed to have been saved. Brother Jonathan left him behind and they didn't realize he was gone for three whole days. Oh, but when they realized and then he was gone and they turned back around and says, and they went after him. And they began searching until they found the King of Kings. And when they found him after the search, Brother Jonathan, they found him in the temple about his father's business. My, my, my. And then from there, the first miracle with his wedding to Canaan and Gal Galilee when he turned the water into wine. And it shocked the ambassadors and the king. And they asked the question, why well, saved ye the last? Best for the last. <laughs> but, they said, but if they only knew that it was just pure old water come out of a well and it was turned into wine because the, the people obeyed Jesus when he said just fill it with water. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes we need to open up our mouth. We need to raise our hands, Jonathan. And we need to say, God, just pour in the oil and the wine. He goes, Son of the Messiah, pour in the oil and the wine. My, my, my. Uh, fill us with a fresh water. Uh, fill us with a fresh anointing. My, my, my. Glory to God. Why, I'm feeling this anointing. Because I can also feel that it's beginning to slowly leave. If you're here tonight and you need prayer, now's the time to come and get in this water. The water's done, the angels done come down and stare at the water. And just like he did in the pool of Bethesda. My, my, my. Brother Jonathan, uh, Dad, Rusty, if y'all come and get behind him. I'm not even going to touch him. I'm going to stand right here. But y'all anoint him.
in the name of Jesus. God, he wants to be humble and he's wanting to serve you. I believe that sometimes he's even got a heart baby like David. Glory to God. But I ask right now, Lord, that you would just pour down the power of refreshing Jesus upon him. My, my, my. God, I ask, Lord, that you would lead him into high places where he's not, never been before, Lord. He goes Sunday out of a higher. Lord, lead him into a high place. My, my, my. God, show him the things and the desires of his heart. God, begin to give him those dreams. My, my, my. Begin to give him those visions today, Lord. God, and the things that the devil's used to torment him, we rebuke and cover under the blood of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. And the Lord said to tell you to begin to listen and to listen. Uh, be slow to speak and uh, swift to hear. Quick to listen to what He says to you and the things that He begins to show you. And if you begin to take these things and serve Him with an honest and pure heart, He will take you to places. But He says you must slow down. You must take time to listen unto His voice and the direction that He has set other people over you to give unto you this day, saith God. My, my, my. Glory to God. Anyone else needing prayer tonight? Anyone else in the middle of a storm? Financial, spiritual, health. But glory to God, ladies. Gather around, see us. Thank you, Jesus. Anoint her. My, my, my. Hey, Jesus. The Lord begin to move on her body today, God. Lord, touch her body from her head to her feet, God. Touch her soul today, Jesus, inside and out. Have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord, have your way, Jesus. We remind up any sickness that she may have. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, you know, Lord, you know, Lord, you say, oh, Lord, we can't do nothing without you, Lord. But, Lord, we can do all things without you. Yes, my God, have your way. Move through her family today, Jesus. Hey. Lord, give a fresh wind of the Holy Ghost. Hey, he called Taramaha, Satanamani Biata. Hallelujah. I ain't felt this good, boys, in a long time. Thank you, Father. Bless her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let her be like she's not felt in a long time, God. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, send a fresh wind of the Holy Ghost to blow through her and over her, God, like in the upper room. My, my, my. Lord, we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, that you're able to move. You're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever think or even ask, God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. God, give her strength in her body right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. I felt this good giver in a long time. Praise the Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Oh, I tell you what, if you don't want to leave here the same way that you come in, 
I'm here to tell you, sis, that you will not leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Oh, Just yeah. like the song said, whether you're bound or pressed, tormented, oh, sick or lame, I say you will not leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Praise your holy name, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anyone else needing prayer tonight? Or wanting to stand in for prayer for someone you know? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I thought that healing had so good. Feel that humble spirit. Come get down you so. Yes. I thought that it's so good. You know what I know about him named Jesus. I thought that it's so good to get a hold of that man called Jesus. That that'll keep you. That'll save you. That'll thank you for everything. When you can't, when your brothers and your sisters forsake you, when you can't find nobody else, hey, when you're out there searching, hey, poor drug, hey, let me tell you what, you can come to that man called Jesus, I thought that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Woo, this, feels, this feels better than what it's told, children, today. I thought that I'm glad I can go to that living waters and drink that everlasting water. Amen. I thought that I'm glad of that today. Amen. Hey, my God. I don't know what you're feeling today, but I feel this down deep in my soul, Amen. children today. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I feel this down deep in my soul. on us all different. Because if he did, Brother Jonathan, it'd be a boring world. Some of us he moves on to shout and run. Some of us he moves on to just cry or, or just lift up our hands and begin to worship him and without asking for one thing like the song says. But there's nothing greater than Jesus. Amen. You can look and you can you can try to find says, but You'll never find nothing greater than Jesus. You'll never know a feeling greater than Jesus and the power of His Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brother Jonathan, I want to ask if you want to testify tonight. Thank you, Lord. Like I say, I'm glad to be here tonight. The only thing real I've been busy is this business over here. I guess. Yes. That day that they came to my heart, He saved my life. He brought me out of the lost and dying world. Yes. And, and He sent me upon the side of the ground. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jes
Glory to God. Glory to your name today, Jesus. I know he is. You know, everybody may think it's a little strange that I come up here and cut Brother Gilbert by his right hand, but that's what the Spirit did me to do. And Amen. One of the reasons is, is because I'm going to tell on myself. <laughs> I used to be a bold Christian. Bonus. Whatever the Lord told me to speak, I'd speak regardless. Mm -hmm. I'd just speak it, whatever it was. Amen. I'd just do whatever He told me to do. It didn't matter. Okay. You know, I'd just obey the Lord. Yes. Well, I quit doing that. You know, little by little, I, I brought that, and I, I quit obeying the Lord. Mm -hmm. And here for the last while, I'm asking the Lord, God, you just use me whatever you want to anymore. It Amen. doesn't matter. Just be yeah. you. Yeah. Whatever you want me to do, tell me to do it. Wherever you want me to go, send me. Yes, whatever you give me to say, I'll say it. Yes. Amen. You know, when you say that, you'll get tried. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. You know? Yes. And that's what happened. I know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, in my mind, that that's why I had to come up here and take him by his hand. Yeah. Was simply to see if I would obey yeah. Yeah. what the Spirit bid me to do. Yeah. Amen. Take him by his right hand. I don't know what he got out of it, but I know what I got out of it. Amen. You know, because I did feel the Spirit of God moving. Amen. And I yeah. thank you for it. And I like y'all to pray for me because, yes, I fight battles just like everybody else. Yeah. I've got a daughter and three grandchildren in my home right now. She needs the Lord. She's saved. But she needs to step out and obey the Lord. She yeah. needs to do what God wants her to do because she drops back. Yeah. But, you know, her and her husband separated. They're not divorced, but they're separated. Have been for over a year now. But they still talk to each other, communicate, and all of this. But yet, she needs to let go of everything and put God first in her life. Amen. And let Him go yeah. and He can straighten things yeah. out. Yes, he can. Amen. You know, you can't straighten things out by yourself. Amen. You have to have God to do it. Amen. You know, you can't make somebody 
somebody do what you want them to do. No, you can't. No. You have to have God to change them. Yes. Yes. A sinner has to be changed. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. They have to be changed. Yes. And you watch somebody and you know by the life that they live whether they're Christian or whether they're yes. not. Yes. Yes. If they're drinking and all this kind of stuff, no, no they ain't. Right. They need to get saved. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's the way for us to miss. But yet he says he's a Christian. Oh, Lord, you know, she knows better than that. Yeah. But still and yet, God needs to do a work on her. Yeah. She needs to let the Lord do a work on her. Yeah. 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 You know, I just thank God for being here and I do thank Him for everything that He does for me. Because He sure has done a lot for this old girl. And he's took me a lot of places and he's brought me out of a lot of things that people wouldn't believe. Amen. He delivered me out of bed. I was dying. And the Lord reached out and he brought me right out. He lifted me up. I couldn't. I was so weak and so near gone, Brother Giver, that I couldn't raise my head up off the pillow in the hospital. I couldn't turn over. I couldn't do anything. But you know what? God loves me. He raised me up. And that's been 42 years ago. And I'm still here. But I should have been dead and gone. And my daughter told my husband that if you ever have one that you won't have one miracle, you've got two. And that was me and my baby, my girl. And you know, God delivered me from death. And it wasn't too awfully long after that till he spoke to me. And he said, remember, child, I delivered you out of the very jaws of death. Yeah. I thought, Lord, yeah, I remember. Yes. You know, and I think about that a lot. Yes. And he can break me back from death's door. He can do anything. Yes, he can. Yeah. He can. He's healed my body with cancer twice. I heard somebody saying something about cancer. God will heal her of cancer. Yes, right? she is. He Amen. healed me of cancer in my body that was growing. He took it out, brother. And he healed me with leukemia. God. So God's healed me twice with that. So he's still a healer. Yes, he you know, is. And I thank God for that. And you all pray for me that I just keep on doing what God wants me to do. Amen. No matter what people Amen. say. Amen. Not anymore. I don't really care what they say. Yeah. Don't really care what they think. Just as long as Jesus knows me, that's Amen. all that matters. That's really all that matters. What matters in this life? Think about it. It's here for a little bit and it's gone. What matters? Going to heaven is what matters. Amen. Bless the Lord. Yes, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But, uh, yeah, I'd just like to say I thank you all for making me feel welcome here. And I, I just I enjoyed the service. Thank you for all the work. And, and I, just, I just appreciate you all and appreciate the Lord and everything you've done for me. I appreciate you too. Glad you all came. Come back anytime. Yeah. Right. Anyone else want to testify? Thank the Lord for saving me and bringing me out of where I have been and where I was. I'm not where I need to be. But I'm definitely not where I used to be. Amen. And I uh, will well, tell Sister, thank you for that testimony. Really, really touched my heart. I, I think I know exactly where she's coming from. Amen. Uh, I think I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. Thank you for your testimony. You really yes, thank you. I thank you for making us feel welcome here and feeling the spirit. Amen. Amen. I praise the Lord for all His blessings. He can bestow upon us everything He's done and doing and going to do. Amen. I always like to say get in. Do what you feel like the Lord wants you to do in the Spirit. And if you don't and you lose a blessing and a touch from the Lord, you can't blame us pastors. Because we give you your liberty. As long as it's in the will of God. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. But I thank God how He's He's been changing things up in the way that I preach and in the anointing I can feel myself. 
I'm not bragging on myself, but bragging on the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel a stirring and a change in my spirit and the, and the, the type of anointing and the strength of the anointing that He's been giving me to preach in Amen. here lately. Amen. And I, I just love the Lord. I thank God for it. Amen. I want to welcome everybody to come back to the to uh, New Harvest Tabernacle anytime. <clears throat> Those of you that's listening by airway, we're on Route 6. This is probably about two miles from Barberville Courthouse out on Route 6 on the left-hand side. New Harvest Tabernacle. We have church every Sunday at 2 p.m. and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. We don't care where you've been, but we care about where you're going. Amen. Because where you've been at and where you're going, if you're, you're trying to live a life for Christ, it's two different things. And I like to say this too. If you're looking for a place that's going to show love, we'll love you in so many different ways you got to like one of them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Anyone else want to testify or say something for the Lord? Amen. I like Brother Johnson, so I'm going to put him on the spot. Will you, will you dismiss our, our service for us tonight? Praise the Lord. Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you for all the blessings that you give us, Lord. Lord, I ask that you just, you just go with us and abide in us, Lord, Lord, as we go out here into the world, Lord. Lord, we may be able to, to be that light, to be that city set upon the hill which cannot be here. Let us be that salt of the earth. Let, them, let us make someone thirsty for that bit of water, Lord. Lord, I thank you for all the things that you do. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.